Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that Prime Minister John Key says that 10,000 houses in Christchurch may need to be demolished and rebuilt elsewhere, particularly those on liquefaction affected land. The cost of that, we don't know yet, but a simple uh, calculation of $320,000 per house would be $3.2 billion alone just for those 10,000 houses. Meanwhile, the first survey of consumer and business confidence to come out after the earthquake has found a slump in confidence back to the worst levels in two years. The BNZ survey of confidence showed people were concerned before the earthquake about a downturn in the economy and this was an added burden. Meanwhile, there's a warning that the petrol price could hit $2.50 a litre. An expert says that if Libya's supplies are blocked, the price of oil could hit $140 a barrel. With profit margins on petrol at the moment relatively low, there's a potential for petrol prices to hit $2.50 a litre. Meanwhile, overnight, Moody's has slashed Greece's credit rating by three notches, saying that there is endemic tax evasion in Greece and that its austerity plans are simply too ambitious. Greece says that the downgrade was incomprehensible and it's called for new regulations on credit ratings agencies. Also, the Greek 10-year bond yield hit 12.2%. That's obviously unsustainable. The market now is betting on either a new bailout or a simple default. Gold hit a record $1,445 an ounce, again on these Libyan troubles and more worries about the Greek debt situation and the European sovereign debt crisis. Oil hit $105 a barrel as Libya descends into a civil war. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand.